everybody welcome back I have this arrow stripe design tutorial for you today and it's featuring one of my favorite polishes from my spring picks this year for 2018 and it's this by Deco Miami it's called don't call me baby girl it's a beautiful bright light pink and I love these type of colors this time of year I've started off with a base coat on all my nails and then I did three coats of don't call me baby girl on all my nails and as you can see I've done the design on all my nails except for the one that I'm going to show you. I'm using my Winstonia striping brush as you can see it's quite long. I'm going to compare it to the brush that I use quite frequently for nail art as you can see it's quite a bit longer. This is going to give you a straighter line. These are a lot better to use when you're trying to do thin lines and I'm going to show you compared to my nail just how big it is. Also when I can I like to use these acrylic paints just that you get from the craft store. They don't dry as quickly and they're a little bit easier to use when you're doing nail art, especially stripes because you can thin the formula out just slightly. So I just dip a little bit of paint on my um, rubber mat here and then I have a little bit of water in my brush and I'm just going to add a teeny bit more, not a lot, just to thin it out just slightly and then I'm pulling that paint into it. And then you only want to keep paint on the tip of your brush and that's how you're going to get the best application. So I'm going to come here and add this stripe. I'm going to lay it a little bit flat and then pull it all the way to the center. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. A little bit of an angle and then go all the way up to that center and meet there again as you can see that gives you a nice smooth line I'm going to do the same thing underneath it leaving a little bit of space lift your brush up at the end so you don't get that little line at the end to go through your arrow and then the other side and then I'm cleaning my brush off in water between each application and then wiping it down with a towel and then go ahead and do the last one there and I'm going to go this direction and then when you're finished with this one, you can go ahead and see, I have one line that you'll see here is a little bit crooked, more crooked than I like. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill in that other side to make it look a little more straight. And it's really that simple. It does take a little practice to get those lines straight, but just keep working at it. And then any spots you have left on your finger, you can use a brush and some acetone and clean that off. Make sure it's dry. The thing about these paints is they dry really quickly too. So go ahead and add your fast dry top coat. I'm using Glisten and Glow and it's my favorite. I use it all the time. And I'll put a link to all the products down below. And that's the final look. I hope you guys like this. Give me a thumbs up if you think you're going to give this design a try. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.